And America, I think, deserves a president who understands what the American people are going through, who sees who you are, what you want to be, who cares about your health, your prosperity, your dream, your American dream. They're facing real challenges right now. And the last thing you need is a president who exacerbates them, who ignores you. And I'm going to say it. I've been saying it for a while. It's from my perspective was grand. A president who looks down at us, who thinks that if you, uh, if you put your life on the line for the nation, you're a loser, a sucker. And by the way, you know what they're setting up. They're setting up the argument that these votes aren't going to matter. You saw what happened today. The FBI arrest, arrested a group of militiamen who had planned, had a plan to go in and to kidnap the governor of Michigan. You'll see it in the news tonight. The governor of Michigan. Remember those guys with the assault rifles standing in their driveway? But here's the thing, Arizona. We need your help. We've got only 26 days left. So let's not wake up the day after the election on November 4th wishing we'd done more. Let's organize and vote in numbers no one has ever seen before. Let's send Mark Kelly to the Senate. <laughs> vote like your life depends on it. Because right now, it really does. And while this president, of course, didn't bring the virus to our shores, his reckless disregard for human life and for the well-being of the American people has allowed it to spread the way we have seen. And the casualties have been enormous.